Hey, welcome back. Thursday Open Lines. We're on the road at Brookhaven Honda, exit 40, I, uh, 555 in Brookhaven, uh, hanging out with uh, Linda Covington and the crew here at Brookhaven Honda, talking about motorcycles, talking about safety and different things uh, and groups that are uh, associated and ministries that are associated with uh, motorcyclists uh, in and, and around our area. And uh, our next guest on Thursday Open Lines is Ms. Brenda T. Netterville. She is uh, a, motor, a Motorcycle Safety Foundation rider coach. And uh, Ms. Brenda, I understand you are the one to learn from. If somebody wants to know how to ride safely, you can do it. <laughs> My husband and I, for Netterville, teach for the Mississippi Motorcycle Training. We do. We teach the curriculum, the classes of the Motorcycle Safety Foundation. Right now, we are teaching at Hattiesburg, Mississippi, at the Forest County Local Purpose Center. The classes, the main classes, are the basic rider course and the experience rider course. And the basic rider course, that involves anyone. We can take a beginner who has actually never even thrown their leg over a motorcycle, mm -hmm. and by Sunday afternoon, I have them weaving tongues, doing a circle A, and smiling <laughs> while they do it. The main thing, of course, is safety. You know, riding a motorcycle, you've got to remember, we're smaller than right. cars and trucks. Right. So it's a matter of not only being seen, putting ourselves in a position where we're the safest, but also seeing what's going on around Surprises are nice for birthdays and anniversaries, right. but riding a motorcycle, we want to be safe. Right. So now, 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 your classes that you have right now, are, are they one day, two days? How does it, it work? All right, the beginner class are the basic rider course. Mm -hmm. It's two and a half days. Okay. A Friday night classroom. Then Saturday, about two-thirds of the day, you're actually riding the motorcycles. We do provide the motorcycles and the helmets. For people who do not even have that much, we provide them. And then another third of that Saturday will be back in the classroom. Then Sunday is riding the motorcycles all day. So the basic rider course is a full weekend course. Now, is there an age uh, limit or a minimum age in order to take um, this class? You have to have a driver's license. Okay. I think my one class we even had, we had a 16-year-old and a 17, 72-year-old okay. from one to the other. And you were able to teach both of them. All right, now you've got the beginner class, and then there's an advanced class. Yes, known okay. as the experienced driver. Okay. That's a one-day course. There is no classroom. You're on the range only. And you take that on your own motorcycle. It just enhances your skills. The Motorcycle Safety Foundation recommends that when you've been riding your own motorcycle one year, to go ahead and take this course. And they recommend that you take it every other year. All right, now this Motorcycle Safety Foundation, is this something required or is this uh, kind of how, what, how, how does the, the foundation get involved with uh, somebody wanting to become a safer rider? How does this work? All right, the foundation is the national organization. Okay. That's the curriculum that okay. we teach. And our local sponsor here is the Mississippi Motorcycle Training. Okay. That's the group that we teach for. You do not have to have this plan in order to get your motorcycle endorsement. However, if you do take this class for safety completion card, then normally what will happen is when you go to get the endorsement on your motorcycle for your motorcycle driver's license, mm -hmm. then you will only have to take the written test of the state of Mississippi. You will not have to take the ride. They will waive that. So they accept your training uh, at the Highway Patrol's that office. That is true. Okay. Very good. Now, you're in Hattiesburg. This, uh, how, how long were you in Hattiesburg? I mean, uh, you've got this class going on right now in Hattiesburg. Is it like a weekend every month or uh, every weekend for a month? Or how does that work? Normally, there's about two classes per month. Mm -hmm. since it is a full weekend. Now, the experienced riders, um, you would have normally a class every two or three months because there are more basic rider courses. You can go online to www.mississippimotorcycletraining.com. The class, the schedule is there. You can call Floyd and myself. If you'd like to talk to someone locally, we can explain the classes. Go ahead and tell you the schedule. You do have to sign up. Now, the classes do fill up very quickly. I imagine so. Now, how many do you have in a class, uh, say, in the beginner's class? Uh, in the beginner's class, we can teach up to a maximum of 12 students. Okay. So there's a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. We get a lot of personal help. 
Okay. Now the advanced class, uh, how about that? The advanced class also. About the same way? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I understand that uh, you guys have got a curriculum kind of set out, and it's the same class each each place, but you always have a different group of folks coming in that to take the, the safety information. Mm -hmm. Very good. Tell us a little bit about the curriculum. What all do you teach at this class? Mainly the C and the C, and we teach a strategy also known as SEE, where you stand, you evaluate what you see, how is that going to affect you? You know, on a motorcycle, we're only on two wheels. And something on a four wheel, all right, let's take that. You know, we have a lot of road construction like that. And sometimes one side of the road is larger, goes up more, and you've got the edge trap right in the thing. Well, if you're in a car or truck, you don't think anything about it. It's not going to really affect you as you're riding down the road. But on a motorcycle, that could be a hazard. But if you're scanning and you look at it and you see this and you evaluate how could this possibly hurt me, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to decide, well, maybe I need to get in this lane and just stay there. And that's how then you execute your action. You've got scan, you've got evaluate, and then execute what you're going to do with a motorcycle. We uh, also teach a lot of the skills, the safest way to ride a motorcycle. What happens when you go in that curve? What position of the lane should you be in when you go into the curve that allows you to see feathers around the curve? Like I said, we just don't want those surprises. Right, right. You want to have fun. Those are good at birthday parties. Surprises. Yeah, right, but not on motorcycles. <laughs> And what we always teach is, you know, there is a risk factor. Now, I love my motorcycle. Mm -hmm. I love to ride it. But it can be dangerous if you don't have the safety skills already prepared. You don't want to round the curve and then wonder what I'm going to have to do when there's a small car in front of you. You want to already know that it's in your brain and it's going to come down to your hands and feet and you do what it takes to keep you safe. And, of course, the more you lower that risk, it is better the enjoyment right. and the best.